Good morning from Luxembourg. This is the hostel I've been staying at, uh, Hosteling International. They call it a youth hostel, which I think is hilarious. But check this out. Just outside my hostel, it's pretty cool. I arrived here uh, yesterday morning. It's 2 a.m. I've arrived at my 35th country, Luxembourg. So I've had a day to kind of adjust, catch up on some sleep. And I've got the morning now before I head off to Brussels, which I technically don't have anything confirmed tonight where I'm gonna be staying. I'm gonna show you what they think they call the Grund. So I've gotta go up to go back down. So let's, let's go up. It's worth mentioning that all public transport is free in Luxembourg. So trams, buses, whatever. So in case you do find yourself needing public transport. <laughs> This is where I want to get to later on. Beautiful little waterfall type of thing there. We'll do a little tour around this area and then we'll get finally get down to there. But it's just so beautiful, this place. Get even better view of the hostel, the maze, the bridge. And I saw this bridge at night and it looks sick. It just looks so futuristic because there's this really like clean straight line that lights up across it. It's so cool. And the even nicer side is over the other side. So let's, uh, let's check that out. It's like your, it, the city has been built into some old castle ruins. Um, that's, what it, that's what it feels like, but it's not. It's built into the rock. I'm not quite sure of the, that's your geography, but everything's kind of built into this mountain. It's really cool. So as what's become commonplace with my travels, I actually booked my Brussels place last night. It was on Airbnb and they've yet to get back to me. So I don't even know if I have somewhere to stay tonight. It's kind of part and parcel of it at the moment. I, could, I would not mind staying here an extra day, but uh, we'll see if I get an email a bit later on. In the meantime, let's enjoy more of Luxembourg. Ancient quarters and fortifications of the city of Luxembourg have been included on the World Heritage List of UNESCO in December 1994. So there we go, yet another UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is so cool. Like, I think you need to come to Luxembourg. I was, I'm, I'm so pleasantly surprised at how cool it is here. This is the Spanish gate. I'm not entirely sure why, but it's a gate nonetheless. Let's get down to the bottom. So this old bridge is called, I think, the Grund, which isn't a particularly flattering name, but it's very picturesque. Stream here, a few of the cafes, which are yet to open because it's before. 10, I think everything opens at 10 here. It's very picturesque, really nice. Overshadowed by the city above. And given that and the fact there's like an archeological uh, museum above, I would hazard a guess that they found a lot of fossils in this, I can imagine this being all fill up with water in the prehistoric ages. So yeah, imagine lots of dinosaurs here, which is cool. Now I'm not supposed to be back here because I had a concert last night, but no one's here guarding it. So there we go. got away with it. I think everyone thought I was crew. <laughs> Someone's home. Some stairs here, let's go down there. The other thing to note as well is actually if you go into the tourist spot, they, they have lots of walking tours that you can follow. So I have no idea if I'm on any particular walking tour, but I am seeing a lot of like signs everywhere, which makes me feel like I'm at least 
on the right track. But if you wanted something more structured, uh, yeah, go to the tourist office. Look at that. I'm not entirely sure what this spot is called. It's very pretty. I think the bridge itself is called Point Disturchin or something, but look at this. I fall in now. go and cruise around the city walls where you can just kind of go up and down and all around amongst all the old relic of the castle or fortress or whatever this place is. Now, I'm not entirely sure of the specifics of this place, but I think this is Lamb Plateau and it's an old waterworks, but I've no idea what all these other buildings are. Maybe a university, maybe offices or something, but this building, that is cool, isn't it? I think the water reservoir is around the back, so let's go check that out. Excuse the noise, that's the water reservoir I'm there, I think. Look at another beautiful view. Actually, let's get down there. I love Luxembourg because you've got all of these signs everywhere that just sort of point you where what everything is. I'll oh, check that out, it's like a chimney full of grass. But it'll just tell you what everything is. So we're over the other side now because I saw this big tower behind me. Can't get up to it though. There's another one here. This must have been a castle that's just not there anymore on top of it because we're on top of like the middle bit and there has to have been a castle up here Ooh. let's try this here we go let's try and get up there Ooh. this is nice there you go okay so it was like a fortress or a wall I guess all the way around this area. Six. Official. Walked into like a cinema or something. Not even 10 a.m. yet, and uh, everything's just quiet. I can see everything. I have to wait for anyone. Hey, I think we are on the city walls. Why paintings and like religious like artwork and stuff? They all just seem really depressed and floppy and like I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Why is that? That's, that's something I've always wondered. Let me know. This up here is the Citadel of the Holy Spirit and there's a rose garden up there which looks quite cool. To be honest. I thought it was going to be blossoming. I suppose it is kind of cool. They've got all these different types of roses and I suppose it would be a lot better if they were all in bloom, wouldn't they? I think this is the best view of Luxembourg.
this is placed up on meds which you can see this just surrounded by loads of uh, restaurants and things like that and this is the center municipal which i'm guessing is like the central town hall sort of thing there's a bandstand here which is lovely sit down have some lunch so behind me you can see constitution square or at least the plaque that represents it and then behind that is quite a nice building but it's the museum of the bank which is less interesting or maybe it is interesting i don't know to your right or to your left this is notre dame which is not the notre dame obviously that everyone knows but it is notre dame of luxembourg so we can go inside and check it out see a lot of people going is the crypt. This is uh, Place de Guilhelme. Guilhelme? Guilhelme. I'll figure out how to say that. I just call my mate Guy. Hotel de Ville here. I'm not quite sure what the Hotel de Ville thing is. There's a Hotel de Ville in Malouse. That's the tourist office I was talking to you about uh, if you want to get some walking tours and stuff. And then there's a nice lovely statue of a man on a horse. So, nice big open space. Nice place to have lunch. I was hoping to come down here to get some shots of people eating and doing stuff, but it's 12 o'clock now and it still hasn't really picked up. I think it's quite a, a chill place. Airbnb have cancelled the reservation. So now I'm left with a decision. Do I stay in Luxembourg another night or do I go to Brussels? Brussels is cheaper, certainly. I've just paid 10 euros or 11 euros for a pizza thing and coffee and water. Yeah, I'll have a think now. Yeah, I was thinking about it. I'm not that fussed on staying in Luxembourg. It would be nice, but I would have liked to have stayed to have done a bit more filming, to be honest. But I think I've got everything that I needed to, wanted to show today. So, but I've got four hours until that bus leaves anyway. So, better get a move on. And I would like to do that archaeological uh, tour as well. That'd be a nice little end to the, the Luxembourg trip. This morning, when I said to, I need to go up to go down, just gone through there. Feeling like 45 minutes was a bit generous there, but hey ho, it's only eight euro. Okay. There we go. Ah. Two out of five. I feel like if there was more information in each room, that would have been a bit better. Because you were just kind of walking around, kind of sort of getting lost. Yeah, it was a bit confusing, but hey ho. Gives me some time now to head back, book my hostel, and then we can head to Brussels. So these were all, we were all just poking out when we were walking through the caves then. I've safely arrived in Brussels. I'm just, just had a shower, freshened myself up, and now I'm gonna go get some food. And this marks the final destination on my 4,000 kilometer journey across Europe to get home for August. And the only other thing to say at this point is you need to visit Luxembourg. I was so surprised at how beautiful the place is. It just feels like you're in some old castle ruin. So Luxembourg is definitely one of my places to go back and visit when I'm next available to. It's such a beautiful place and I wish I could have spent more time there. But lo and behold, I need to finish my travels and continue my journey. So thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe and all the rest of it. And and look forward to more of my videos in Brussels.